I am live. I don't even know if it's exactly seven o'clock, but I wanted to get on here. Welcome to my new studio. I'm gonna wait to see if anyone gets on. And in the meantime, I have one person on, which is probably Ty. Ty, are you on? Ty, what? are you on? Uh, are you yeah, it wasn't him. Uh, I, I just thought you were the one person, Never mind. Okay. In the meantime, I've switched from three. Not on. What? Not on. All right, you don't have to watch. Ty's not on and he's not watching, but he's, no. Hi, Emmett, it was you. All right, so first and foremost, I switched from White Claw to Vizzy's, way better. I'm gonna wait for a couple more people, see if anyone cares to see the studio, and then I'm gonna explain everything. Hi, Beth. Beth's a trooper. All right. I'm going to get going. Okay. So first of all, the make of our RV is a Thor 2021 Thor Outlaw. So it's a toy hauler, which means this is the garage area. So no other RVs really have garages other than toy haulers. So that's why we actually bought this RV was so that we uh, could convert this into my studio. So what used to be here was um, two couches, a couch on this wall and a couch on this wall and then a bed up above. Well, we completely took that out, tore it down, and installed what you see here, which is kind of my closet, kind of my desk, kind of a million different things. Um, I'm gonna show you. So this is actually my window, but we cover it up when I film for lighting. So this isn't always on display, even though I do love Ty and his Players Weekend jersey. So. Um, this is kind of my desk area, also makeup station. Um, you know, just kind of work in between my closet. Uh, uh, RV is all about um, condensing space and making things practical. Uh, so that's why I have all my clothes here. By the way, for a girl, I just want to say this is all the clothes that I have. Minus, like, pajamas and stuff. So I think this is pretty impressive that I narrowed my closet down to just these few items. Um, I just wanted to toot my own horn. And what else do we have here? So let me bring you over here. Biggie's in here joining us. This is Biggie's favorite room. <laughs> okay, let me bring you over to this side. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite parts. Not working there. Oh, now he wants to go in. Biggie, you should have said so before the live started. Go in. All right. So, super stoked about this whole drawer because I've never really had an office, and in an RV, it's very rare, and a lot of people have to like work out of the living room. And I used to work at the front seat of like the captain's chairs, so this is ideal. So for all my storage, first of all, this was the most exciting purchase that Ty and I felt like we were really adulting. It's a label maker, and we were thrilled about it to keep everything organized. Um, got my cameras, got my Osmos, um, little video camera, um, got all my supplies, like office supplies, and then I have also over here, like, all my neat and organized drawers of devices that I use for filming, and this, let me take you off and show you and flip you. This will be better. Um... All my cords and labeled. So my key lights. Um, this is my whole media drawer one. This is all of Ty's random PlayStation cords and all the random things that Ty collects over years. Kind of the same thing. Headphones. Look, even have twist ties. I mean, I'm just doing it right. We've never been organized. Um, not done yet. Jewelry and stuff like that. Clothes, clothes. Um, we also have supplies um like the, i used all these tools to renovate this place so that was important this is like a diy drawer i like to call it um just all the things so here's my desk again <laughs> as you can see i'm editing the podcast that i did yesterday with amber from racing wives um behind here makeup station boom um eventually gonna get my diffuser working all my clothes we got two shelves up here. Uh, ignore the tape. 
tripods, more equipment. Let's see, what do we got over here? This is my favorite side. I keep this one more aesthetically pleasing. Um, Beth, good question. So I had this entire thing installed from um, the container store. So they actually do custom closets. We definitely probably overpaid and could have done it on our own. But we had them like custom draw exactly what we wanted as far as you can literally pick how many drawers you want, what style of drawers you want, how much closet space you want, if you want the desk. So we really could have made this any way that we wanted to, and this is just what suited us best. Um, so this is like a girl's dream in my mind. Cute little jewelry drawer. Oh, this one's my favorite drawer. Face products. You know, just the daily stuff, deodorant, hair stuff, if I actually do my hair, which I said in my Instagram story today that Ty broke my straightener, which should be in this drawer. Um, contacts. It's just, it's exciting to finally be organized. And then the final um, little drawer is all my lighting. Got plenty of it. Speaking of lighting, we got all the lights, all the tripods going on. Um... So that's really what we have here, but I want to show you also my new interview setup. So let me put you now on the other side because I can't wait to get some athletes in here to see the setup because it's, it's pretty fun. Um, eventually I still want to do some stuff to the studio. I want to look into soundproofing because right now we are in an RV park with a tree above us where acorns fall all day long. Um, so that's not fun. And I have to kind of play my videos around when the acorns are falling, which is like 24 seven. Um, and then, so I want to do some soundproofing. Eventually I still want to get more of like a vanity look for my makeup and stuff here in the studio. But let me prop you up and show you where the athlete interviews will be taking place. Okay, let me move it down. So here's my two leather chairs that I got from World Market. Big, comfy chairs was a priority for the athletes. Told you I got my stizzy, which is like the equivalent of a white claw over there. Got the mic set up going. Little table for convenience. And then this is the part that I like. Let me show you. I don't know why my tripod is struggling. Okay. Clearly hard to do a live and mess with tripods mid video, but here we go. So while filming, this was huge that the adventure athlete installed this for us. Shout out to him and follow his YouTube channel. So I have a black screen that goes all the way to the floor. And then I have, oh, I think I just messed it up. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Jeez. I have a white screen for backdrop. So I have two backdrops installed, um, one of which I use for my podcast and for Insta filming. And the other one I'm going to, the black will be for the interviews with the athletes and things like that. So if you ever check out my Instagram and see like just this solid backdrop, you know where I am. I'm here in the garage, in the studio. Uh, pretty much everything is going to be taking place. My dad said this is cool. Thanks, dad. My dad hasn't seen it yet either. Um, so I just feel finally a little bit organized. I feel like this is my place. Um, poor Ty got stuck with just having the inside for himself and this is kind of my little sanctuary. Um, let me take you off and show you the setup fully though since this tripod kind of is lacking. Also we got the TV going. We got a little air conditioning unit so that helps out. Um, the chairs, they're huge in person but you know so are athletes. They're huge in person too so um, that was a priority. They definitely take up a lot of room. I'm still on the live, Ty. Oh, okay. Hi, Ty. Ty's on the live. He wanted everybody to know. Also, this is a clutch freaking rug because, um, as you know, we have the ramp that comes down and we just haul things in and take things in and out and shout out to Ruggable because they're washable rugs. So that's a shout out for them because they're awesome. And then also this one, Twilly, if you check out her YouTube channel, I can link it in the comments, gave me the inspiration for a little bit of motivational poster boards and um, just kind of Getting your thoughts down on paper were really helpful, so I took her idea and applied it to a poster board in the studio, 
and I'm here if anyone has any questions. Here's my mic and perfectly placed is my Vizzy, so I'm gonna stay on just for a little bit if anyone has any questions about the studio, but it took us quite some time to do this. Um, we also had the Adventure Athlete install this wood as well. Um, it's not easy to install anything into an RV. I mean, you gotta think about it, the, wa the walls are not very thick and it, uh, a lot of people are scared to even touch an RV because they're unsure of like what it's made of and a lot of people haven't done it before. Um, you should have Ty as your first video interview. That's a good idea, Emmett. Ty, you've been requested to be the first. Um, so it's been a long process because Ty and I have never done anything like this before and I honestly really did most of it on my own um, other than this wood. Um, and physically installing the closet. So um, I'm gonna do a longer video where you can literally see footage of like before and after because I don't know, if you go back and look at my video on my YouTube channel of our first RV tour, you will notice this looks completely different. I mean, it's unbelievable night and day, like kind of what it turned into. Um, and I'm in a little Thor Outlaw uh, Facebook group where I share all my progress and things like that. Um, because everybody kind of buys this outlaw to be able to do what they want to with this garage. I guess it's technically like flex space. So uh, a lot of people use it for golf carts or if they do motorcycles or things like that. So it's definitely flexible in comparison to other RVs. So that's definitely why we got this. Uh, somebody just asked how much it cost us in renovations. <sighs> um... I'll get back on that and probably do a video on that. I have it all tallied in my phone, but I haven't tallied everything up. And I've also done other renovations within the RV that I need to show you. I've ripped down the backsplash in the kitchen and retiled everything on my own. I tiled the bathroom on my own. I painted the whole RV and I still have a lot to do like reupholstering, um, wallpaper, so I'm going to take you guys along with me. If you're interested, leave some comments. Uh, DM me on Instagram, SamGreenBTL. Appreciate all the love. And thank you for everyone that's uh, come on and seen this. I've been excited about it. And I will be sure to do a longer YouTube video of before and afters. But here's one last cool little, little look of my brand new studio. So check out all the videos coming right here from BTL Studio Garage. BTL was officially started in a garage. Thanks for watching.